Happy Friday. This week we kick things off here at Classic Elements where a ribbon cutting was held on their newly expanded space. Classic Elements, a beautiful, unique gift shop on Main Street in Johnstown, recently expanded with the opening of a new wine bar and cafe. The ribbon cutting included music and tastings of some of Classic Elements' many goodies. This is a great space to hang out and do some work or enjoy time with friends, and we wish them great success. This Saturday kicks off Juneteenth celebrations in Johnstown, beginning with a day-long music celebration at People's Natural Gas Park. June 12th through the 19th, there will be daily activities in Central Park. You can check out all the details on the Johnstown NAACP Facebook page. And just in time for Juneteenth, the End Racism Now message on Main Street in downtown Johnstown got a fresh coat of paint thanks to many volunteers. Chamber Vice President Deborah Orner and I enjoyed a trip to Harrisburg this week for Chamber Day at the Capitol. It was a chance to catch up with Chamber colleagues from all around the state and network with legislators to discuss important topics like workforce, transportation, tax policy, and the upcoming election. Big thanks to all who attended the Johnstown Walk of Hope. It was a great turnout with about 1,000 people at the event helping to raise around $100,000 for cancer patients and their families. United Way is holding a Stuff the Bus event today, hoping to fill a Camtran bus with diapers and wipes for families in need. The Camtran bus will be at Giant Eagle on Scout Avenue today from noon to six. Congratulations to our friends at Visit Johnstown for another great polka fest. The first Summit Bank Johnstown polka fest wrapped up its three days on Sunday with ethnic food, polka music and dancing, and a polka mass. Lorraine Stony Creek Hiking Trails held its annual beer and wine festival this past weekend. And if you want to head back to the trails this Sunday, they're having a land navigation orienteering course where you can learn the skills of map reading, point plotting, and using a compass. We're happy to welcome back our Johnstown Mill Rats. Last weekend, they kicked off their season with an enthusiastic crowd. Our friend Ron Spory from Spory's Locksmith threw out the first pitch. The Mill Rats are home tonight, Saturday, and Sunday, so get out and show your support. The Tribune Democrats Concerts in the Park series has kicked off. This past weekend was Jazz in Your Face. The free concerts are sponsored by The Trib, Johnstown Magazine, and Somerset Trust. Nanty Glow Fire Department will host Community Days this Friday through Sunday. Sunday at the station. There will be craft vendors, food, kayak races, and more. It sounds like fun. And finally, check out the new outdoor dining space at Balance Restaurant. Nice to see another outdoor dining option in downtown Johnstown. As usual, a lot going on this weekend. The Humane Society is having a summer block party. That's Saturday from 5 to 8. And a warm chamber welcome this week to the Weathered Farmhouse, a beautiful new home decor store located next to Remax in the Geistown Roundabout. Happy Friday! Good News Friday is brought to you by Wessel & Company and First Summit Bank.